I think we're finally at that point. The time is ripe for robotics. I think we've hit the point where computers are cheap enough and sensors are cheap enough. And so now is the time when robots can come in the world and help people. I'm Steve Cousins. I'm the CEO of Savvy Oak. Savvy Oak makes robots for the service industry. Uh, we make robots that can move around by themselves in human spaces and help people out. One of the huge things that's happened in the last several years is that uh, mobile phones have significantly reduced the cost of computation and sensing in a whole bunch of different areas. And the robotics field has now been able to take advantage of that rapid drop in, in sensor prices. And so now that's enabling a world where robots can be aware of the presence of humans near them and exist safely uh, in that environment. How can we put robots in the world? The way we do that is by finding something that the robots can do that's more valuable than it costs, would cost us to put them out there. So first use case is really simple. You're staying at a hotel and you need a toothbrush or a shaving kit or you're hungry and you call down to the front desk and you say, hello, can I have a toothbrush, for example? And the person at the front desk gets a toothbrush, puts it in the robot, types in the room number, and the robot goes off on its own to your room. And when it gets to your door, it calls your phone, you open the door, and when it sees the door open, so it opens its lid and you get out whatever it is that you were getting delivered. Robots are really complicated and we're trying to bring them out into the world where they can interact with people. And what we want to make sure is that when people receive that delivery in a hotel, it's, uh, it's exactly what they expect. And moreover, that they love interacting with our robot because we want it to be a, a, a fun experience for them. Design is really the process of asking, you know, what should those robots do and how should it do it? And what should they look like as, as they're performing those duties? What basic shape is this robot going to take? Where are we going to put items when we're sending deliveries? And how tall should it be? We actually went through about six different prototypes over the last nine months. And each step of the way with everything that we, we generated from one prototype to the next or one storyboard to the next or one sketch to the next, we were gaining more knowledge about what we think the best answer is. We want it to be very friendly and approachable and not seem too big, especially like in cluttered hallways. The robot has a slender taper to reduce the visual volume. The base has a flaring towards the bottom to really make it seem planted and safe. There's even like a little arc just below the screen to make it feel happy. Success for us is putting robots out in the world, getting robots into the hospitality industry, and then getting robots into adjacent industries, and basically making an impact and continuing to create robots that can help people.